I don't know if that's working <clears throat> or not. Well, the news came out today that the CIA, <laughs> this is a long convoluted story I'm going to try to compress. We did, we've been telling the international community for 50 years that torture is absolutely unacceptable, even in times of war. So what we told the world we were doing was enhanced interrogation techniques, and it wasn't torture. So the world didn't really believe us, but they said, well, all right, we're going to have to trust. Well, the declassified report's been analyzed, and it turns out we tortured. Enhanced interrogation techniques means torture. Uh, because we have the graphic details now about what they actually did. CIA chiefs and everybody are pointing the finger at everybody else. The Democrats, Obama, trying to divert attention. And nobody's going to pay a price. But here's the problem with it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. People are debating this idea of whether or not it was effective. I mean, everybody that analyzed the report said it's not. The people that were actually on the committee to analyze the report said it was not effective. It did not prove, produce uh, actionable intelligence that prevented anything significant. And in fact, the other techniques, the non-torture techniques, were more effective. So, all the CIA guys are hitting the circuit. These ex-CIA chiefs and Cheney and everybody are issuing their statements saying they completely disagree with the report. Well, surprise, surprise, it calls them war criminals. I, I mean, do you, do you expect them to do anything else but disagree with that report? I'm just astonished. And it's almost like the news is covering the royal family and uh, really silly stories and giving very little coverage to this, except PBS. PBS actually has done some pretty good interviews on it. I thought uh, Nancy Woodruff did a really nice job kind of pinning down this one CIA guy. I'm just trying to say, like, they're trying to turn it into a debate on whether torture was effective. First of all, it wasn't. Second of all, it doesn't matter. It's torture. We don't do that. We've chased, we have chased, the United States has chased down other world leaders for doing the same stuff. And we've dragged them into international court claiming that they're war criminals. And then we go do the same shit. There is no threat that justifies that. Stop believing that because the United States is under threat that we get to torture people. Every country has enemies. Every country has people that want to harm it or destroy it. That doesn't give them the right to torture, and it doesn't give us the right to torture. It doesn't matter whether it's effective. So just think about that for a minute, and then watch the news, and watch how they talk about everything else, except that basic, simple, common sense fact. We don't have the right, and they do it with our tax dollars. They do it in our name. So it is not acceptable to say, well, I don't know anything about that, and I don't have to know. Somebody else can deal with it. I mean, as a citizen of this country, you have an obligation to citizens of the world to make sure that your country is not doing abhorrent things with your money and in your name. 
That's why it's not okay to just flip American Idol back on or The Voice or some shit and say, I don't want to deal with this stuff. It's negative. It makes me feel icky. Torture's torture. I think it's time for a lot more transparency in our government. And it's, a, it's time for a lot less fear. Stop believing that the terrorists are at our doorsteps about to kill all our freedoms and steal everything we love. That is a charade. That's, you know, people that are afraid are very obedient. They don't question much. Well, as long as you keep us safe. Don't be that. We need a mass awakening. We need a lot of people to start scratching beneath the surface, read between the lines. Don't believe the mass media. Get off of it. It is like, man, I think there's just a, there seems to be a lot of forces at work that want to keep you passive, keep all of us passive while all this stuff is going on and it doesn't change until enough people care about it to want to change it there's no political will there's no protests or they're small I mean until people get involved and actually make this their personal responsibility and not just this I mean GMOs, economic inequality, the list goes on and on of important issues that we should be talking about but we spend a lot of time talking about the wrong subjects. We let them tell us what the debate is going to be and then we debate whether or not torture was effective, for example, in this case. Instead of debating <laughs> the larger issue, which is that it's immoral. And if we have dragged